may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Share, subscribe, like this video. Make sure you put your prayer request in the bottom. Hope you guys having a pleasant day. We are Friday again. We're going from Monday to Friday, seems like. Time is speeding up like we have never seen. I've never seen time fly like this. I will start out the program. Uh, today's thumbnail is going to be by Kate uh, Baker. She did about a year ago, so we'll make that a thumbnail. It's a beautiful picture. I uh, see... Do, do. Ukraine attacked again um, this morning. They've attacked a lot of the fuel depots there in Russia, and they're blazing. So these massive attacks are happening. Now, late uh, into yesterday, Russia met with the ground forces general of China. And we're thinking that's going to play a major role soon, but there are definitely a lot of things happening right now as we speak. I'm going through some of mirror stuff here. At the DNC protest in Chicago, a man was literally waving a Nazi flag. In case you haven't convinced of what the anti-Israel crowd uh, stands for. It's true. Past week in Canada, an 88-year-old man was body slammed to land under a bus simply because he was Jewish. More than 100 Jewish institutes and organizations received bomb threats. And uh, we've had more terrorism uh, charges led laid in the Toronto area. The best Justin Trudeau could do was muster on X was, this is bad. <laughs> That's about all he could come up with. Let's see. For behold, in those days and at the end of time, when I bring back the captives of Judah and Jerusalem, I will gather all nations. I will bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat, and I will enter into judgment with them. There on account of my people, my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations. Joel 3, 1 to 2. Every nation that has came up against Israel will be judged upon the return of Messiah. All of them. Those who are picking against Israel, remember that verse. Repost reports in Lebanese channels are targeting an elimination strike against vehicle in a building in southern Lebanon. That was going on all through the night. For the last 48 hours, there's been a lot of bombing there. President Assad has came to Russia for a visit. He stayed in Russia and did not return, him and his family members. What, what do the Russians know? Is there a fear for the life of Syrian president? Did the fear of regional war of Syria <clears throat> would be involved uh, make him stay? So he's hiding out. The Northern Command and Air Force is increasing the pressure. At least seven Hezbollah terrorists was killed this morning. Let's see. Yeah, for Hassad to be staying in Russia and not going back to Syria, that right there tells you all you need to know right there in a nutshell. All right. UF spotted, UFO spotted last night over top of New York. We're seeing a lot of that here lately. And this one was blatantly right out in the middle of nowhere. Might be some of the best coverage we've ever seen. I mean, it's literally just right there. So we're seeing a lot of that here in the last days. We all know what that is. Let's <clears throat> see what Mr. Keegan has. China's told all their citizens to leave Lebanon. Very get out of there now. Let's see. Now 
NATO has declared one of the second highest alert levels, Charlie, in the air base there in Germany because they saw drones flying over it. And I think they're Russian. I'm thinking about this Gaza thing this week coming up, so we know that that's probably going to go very bad. WW3 alert. South Korea prepares for nuclear disaster, prepping for drills for civilians. There was a lot of that stuff. It's kind of been shugged under the rug because of everything else that's happening. But South Korea and North Korea are very close to war. Very close. Let's go see what Marty has on his. Russia says there will be no more negotiations with Ukraine until the enemy is completely destroyed. We figured that was coming. The flow of additional U.S. military assets closer to Iran has gotten into the headspace of Iran, the Pentagon has said Thursday, as the world awaits the promised Iranian retaliation. Uh, Deputy Pentagon Press Secretary said we've moved capabilities into the region and they've got into the headspace of Iran and its influence. Not like I said, they've sent a lot of stuff there. It looks like World War II there in the Persian Gulf and in the Red Sea, the Mediterranean. On the F-22 showing up. Meteors light up over Kentucky. There was also some other interesting news for Shelley and everybody else that's listening to this, especially Janelle. We was talking about San Francisco last night, about anybody that's been getting it lately. There was a strange earthquake that happened early this morning. When I mean strange, it just never happens there, and it's in Sydney, Australia. The last time the earthquake happened there was 1989, the year of the San Francisco earthquake, 1989. That happened this morning. They're very rare there, but we're seeing very rare earthquakes everywhere. And they're already doing the hokey pokey for the, the monkey. We know how that's going to turn out. Let's see. Just going through and see if I see what's going on this morning. Uh, this one was interesting. No one can figure out why the Atlantic Ocean is cooling at record speed because it's supposed to be boiling right now. And scientists can't figure it out. Well, I'll tell you. I can go ahead and answer their question because scientists lie about everything that they say. That's why. You can't believe anything that these people say. They make things up and people take it as science. That's why. Simple as that. There's your answer. Let's see, been hearing the MTs that are, many are starting to drop all over the age of 50. They call the, the loved ones, let them know how they feel, say everything they want to say. Then you never have a chance to after the 2025. I don't know what this is. Been hearing from EMTs that many are starting to drop all, all under the age of 50. Well, we know what's causing that for sure. Then striking, uh, Leah. Intense lightning striking the clock tower in Saudi Arabia is like nothing I've ever seen. It's almost biblical how much lightning's hitting it. Seen a lot of that lately too, especially in New York. Let's see. A lot of stuff about the shroud coming out right now. We covered this, the new set, seven, of, seven sons appeared over China. <clears throat> See, the Israel Foreign Ministry uh, advised Israel, who is planning to visit Russia, not to come to curse in Belgrade regions. And there's, uh, here's another UFO that was spotted over in India. So like I said, it's, it's everywhere. It is everywhere. A 
Lebanon's energy crisis has worsened as residents turn to Hezbollah for solutions. That's what they wanted. They're the ones responsible for it. The Antichrist is rising. Jesus is coming both very soon. Very true. Everything we're seeing right now is playing out in the media and around the world is the Antichrist and his gaining his power for the tribulation. He doesn't know who he is yet, but he will soon. My friend, there's no question in my mind that the Summer Olympics were absolutely meant to announce the soon arrival of the Antichrist, and I do believe so too. We also see this happening during the Super Bowl halftime show. In fact, at almost every large audience worldwide even event now is showcasing evil as never before because they know they don't have to hide it anymore. People are okay with evil now. We hear them all the time here in the United States. Ah, they don't affect me. Let evil just do what it wants to do. But keep in mind, according to 2 Thessalonians 2, 7, which says he, the Holy Spirit's influence with the church who now restrains, uh, will do so until he is taken out of the way. That's us. And then the lawless one, the Antichrist, will be revealed. The church must be removed as a restrainer before. Because see, Jesus is inside of us. That is the restrainer. So with the Antichrist about to make his appearance, the beast system gaining influence and strength by the hour, just imagine how close we are to the rapture. Like I said, we're very close. <clears throat> Let's see, we covered this. Russia is working on trying to get in reinforcements <coughs> to the cursed area where the U.S. mercenaries are fighting. It's not mercenaries. That is a group. That is not mercenaries. Don't let them. That, that word throws people. These are not mercenaries. They're, they're an American outfit. That's not mercenaries. They have mercenaries there, but that outfit they got there is American funded. Hezbollah is about to fully engage in the Psalms 83 multi-front war, and that's what we're looking at right now at any time. End time zone, China, new floods hit the city of uh, Guanghao. They've been having some, they've lost so many dams in the past couple weeks. It's ridiculous how much flooding they have there. It's everywhere, people. I mean, I've never seen disasters like we are seeing right now all over the world. The hokey pokies are everywhere. Mm, so there's that. Let's go through and see if we missed anything. Don't look like we have. All right. Now, China, <coughs> early this morning warns of retaliation strikes on Kiev in the coming days. Chinese embassy in Kiev is urging its citizens to avoid traveling to Ukraine over fears of massive Russia attacks on the capital of Ukraine. Ukraine made uh, likely a, fi a fatal mistake of invading Russia in the cursed region. Actually, I, I think it was pretty smart because what they've done is they've got Russia's people and soldiers confused and what they did, they started pouring a Napoleon on them. Ukraine's forces are so much smaller than Russia, but they figured out a way, just like Napoleon did, by using strategic forces to go around, uh, do like a little blitzkrieg around there and go in reverse, and go behind them and cut them off. When you have a smaller military, that's what you do. Napoleon was famous for it. And that's what they've been using. And it's threw Russia completely out. Now, Russia's saying, well, we've eliminated all these people. No, they haven't. They're taking a beating right now. They really are. So their stuff saying that they're, they're ahead and they're, no. They're getting their butts kicked. Ukraine attack on Kursk is wrong, NATO member says. This is hungry. Like I said, I'm surprised they haven't taken this guy out yet because they don't care for it. Hungary does not approve of Younger's incursion to the Kursk region because the government of Budapest remains pro-peace 
because a high-ranking Hungarian officials to date are comment on the ongoing Ukraine attack. Ukraine is not only defending, but also attacking. We want a ceasefire and peace deal. It's not coming. I can already tell you. We're at the end of time. The world is at war, and it's going to go to a world war. Russian drones spotted over a nuclear plant in uh, NATO. This is what we're talking about in Germany. Germany's investigating a drone fight, uh, flights suspected from Russian surveillance drones. The drones, which have not been identified, have been spotted flying over nuclear power plants. Oh, man, these commercials are killing me. Repeated drone flights. The Austin State Criminal Police Agency suspects the, the drones are Russians and previously used by Russian surveillance and espionage, he says. The airspace over Germany's nuclear infrastructure is a no-fly zone. However, internal uh, German police documents have revealed that the zone has been breached several times in the last month. Germany has taken increasing action against <coughs> sabotage in recent months. On August 14th, it temporarily closed part of its military base in Cologne after an unknown suspected uh, suspect broke and then tampered in the water supply. We've been seeing that a lot lately in Germany. Germany has remained one of the Europe's largest supporters of Ukraine on the ongoing war with Russia. Earlier this year, German officials announced 542 million arms packaged to Ukraine. Russian oil supplies have been particularly vulnerable to drone attacks with one strike on August the 18th and the one that happened this morning is horrible. I mean, just the stuff that's going into the atmosphere is pretty bad. That's why I said, you know, that jet goes up over there and it's flying around the world and we're breathing in that stuff. It's probably why we can't be outside anymore. Bombshell, Financial Times about Russian forces NATO must react to the agreement between Erdogan from Turkey and Putin on the nuclear power plant. The problem is much bigger than the S-400. An ex extensive analyst, the Financial Times, calls on NATO to react to the tightened a relationship between Turkey and Russia, and they've gotten really tight, and that's supposed to happen in the last days because of the Gog and Magog war. Especially in a text signed by the director of Turkish program, Middle East Institute, Erdogan's War, the Battle of the Strongman, Holmes in Syria states that when you ask the security general of NATO to name the decision of the Turkish president that bothers him the most, he will probably mention the purchase of the Russian's S-400 defense system. However, NATO is facing an even bigger problem with Turkey. It's the Akuyu nuclear plant. As the Financial Times reports, Erdogan has also often refers to it to the unit which is being built by the Russian state-owned company on the Mediterranean coast is Turkey's first nuclear power plant. Unlike the classic manufacturing model where the suppliers design and build the reactor before delivering it to the country, this thing uses the industrial, industrials, industry first built on operated BOO model. Russia retains major ownership while assuming all financial operation and construction risks. Moscow's pack package includes construction operations self-staffing they're just they're doing it all so basically they're going to build this thing there and russia's going to run it see western countries may dismiss uh, dismiss this concerns and praise turkey for its transition to green energy uh, but erdogan and has his plans to reduce turkey's energy independence particularly on russia however instead of achieving this the boo contract binds turkey and russia for the next century through an expected 60-year operating cycle. Remember, Turkey has NATO weapons on its soil. Opposition parties in Turkey are against the project. To protect it, Erdogan signed an interstate agreement with Putin, making it con con constitutionally impossible for a future uh, government to challenge it. This means that Russia, which <clears throat> is known for using energy as a geopolitical weapon, will have direct control over the infrastructure in a NATO country for a hundred years, which the world doesn't have that. Millennial rain be going on in that time, so. But this is not the only problem. The Aku station is located near the uh, Encirclic base, which houses NATO's largest nuclear weapon stockpile, and that's probably why Russia's doing it. <coughs> the plant is also located near the NATO anti-ballistic missile radar system. Uh, so Turkey may build a new radar to protect the plant. Military analysts 
and defense officials fear that this site is owned by Russia, Moscow may require that the radar to operate and bring in troops to provide security. So, once again, Turkey is causing all kinds of trouble in NATO. <clears throat> Sorry, I cannot breathe. I stayed too long outside, and I'm just suffering for it. It's a shame. Hezbollah missiles hit IDF post on Mount Heron. Army uh, says no damage to radar systems. This happened late into this morning. The Lebanese terror group has well shot two to three anti-tank missiles at Israel's military boast there on Mount Haran, Marin. The Israel military confirmed on Friday morning Hezbollah took responsibility for the attacks and claimed that they have directly hit strategic air force radar stations, which they did not. Like I said, they lie about everything. Uh, now I'm going to sneeze. It's just ridiculous. It's a shame when you cannot walk outside anymore because of whatever's out there. It's just ridiculous. Oh, Lord Jesus, come get us off this planet. It's a dead rock. All right. So that right there covers us now. I've got more stuff that I'll bring later tonight. There's a lot more, but I don't want to make it so long, y'all. Try to keep them, you know, not 40 minutes long. So we try to keep it because I know you're all busy. Make sure that you send us anything that you've dreamed, anything about San Francisco, anything ongoing about it. If you're hearing anything about Iran or anything like that, make sure that we know. Trust the gospel, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Jesus died on the cross for our sins, past, present, and future. He died, was buried, rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures. Thank you for all the ones who donated through PayPal, uh, also the Buy Me Coffees, and also the ones with the super stickers here on YouTube. God bless each and every one of you for all that you all contribute here. Like I said, you guys are amazing, and we can't wait to be with you all in heaven. And we're very close. The rapture is very close. Trust only in Jesus. Especially right now. We're being deceived by everything that's everywhere. That's news coming in. If you hear that dong. But literally, just trust in Jesus. Anything we bring to you, you go to Jesus and have it confirmed. Okay? That's the way we do things. It just it covers us all. Listen, like I said, there's so much deception in the last days. And we're just working together as a family to get as many people on the ark. Because we're surrounded by deceit. Evil, evil is on the move. It truly is. It's on the move. And we've got to be together in these last days to really survive till we get home. And we know we're close. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for another day, Father. Thank you for bringing us the news. Thank you for letting us be awake. Protect this family and the, the watchmen and watchwomen out there teaching the world that Jesus is coming soon. In Jesus' name, ask me to watch over the Jewish people as Jacob's trouble is brewing in every corner of the earth. In Jesus' name, ask me to watch over this family the hungry, the sick, the homeless, uh, everyone around the world, Lord, give us the strength to make it to the rapture. Help get us there, Lord. In Jesus' name, it will be done. As we watch over all the names and loved ones of here on this channel, that they will be saved before it's too late. In Jesus' name, ask me to watch over all the ones out there that's going against these channels, that they'll wake up before it's too late. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Well, like I said, thank you guys once again for being here. This channel is run by all of you. You are all the watchers. And we're getting all the information that you guys are sending in. And we appreciate it. And like I said, we've got something unique here. And we've got to stick together through these times. Because chaos is ensuing everywhere that we can look. I love each and every one of you. If I don't see or hear from you again, I'll see you in heaven. Thank you once again for tuning in to Global Rapture Watchers, where we do daily updates here on YouTube, letting you know that we're one day closer to our Lord and Savior coming back. Thank you for all the support for this channel. This channel was created for God's sheep, those that are waiting for their Lord and Savior to come back and get us in these last days. We do updates once to two times a day here on YouTube. Thank you for all your support for the channel. God bless each and every one of you.